I didn't really start out doing artwork uh, as a child or anything like that. I came into it as an adult. I started uh, experimenting when I was about 30 years old and uh, just uh, had always wanted to paint something so I started with paint and canvases and uh, later moved to fiber art. Started out with fiber art um, through batik and putting hot wax on fabric and then dyeing it um, in layers and changing the colors that way. And so that's how I got into fiber art. And then after I made some batik fabrics, I thought I'd like to try to make something with these uh, pieces of fabric. And so I started uh, putting them onto uh, stretcher frames and uh, just embellishing the background and changing the background. And from there, I got hooked on surface design which is just taking a piece of white fabric and uh, adding dyes or taking away dyes through a process called discharging. And uh, just started to experiment and play and have a good time. set about educating myself online uh, through books, magazine articles, um, workshops that I could uh, take through video and things like that. Just started to explore areas of interest to me and um, I started doing the um, trees whenever I uh, batiked a tree on there. I, want, I knew that I wanted to do a tree and then something different with the background. And so I put the tree on there and then I kept looking at the piece of fabric and it was hanging on my design wall. And um, I thought, this tree needs text. Because I really like to use text in my work because I believe that words have a lot of power. And I kept looking at the tree and thinking, what do I want this particular piece to say? And this was actually my very first um, tree piece with text on it. And I decided that at that point in time, I, I needed to draw strength. And so I went to the scriptures and drew out verses about strength and scriptures about strength. And I put those on the tree. And I knew I was on to something because I, I'm a counselor by trade. And so I uh, wanted my pieces to be inspirational to people and also to help inspire people. And so that's how I started putting the text on there and wanting the text on the trees to have meaning uh, and be inspirational. And so through the years, I've just experimented with different surface design techniques and how to change the background um, of my pieces. And recently, probably within the last uh, year and a half, I've gotten into something called echo printing. And that's where you take the actual leaves of plants and you combine them with a fabric that has been mordanted. It has had some type of a solution added to it so that it can pull the dyes out of the plants directly. And that's what this piece is. So everything you see here that's colored is dyes actually from the actual plant leaves themselves. And so that's sort of my latest work. Um, and it continues to evolve, just depending on what I'm drawn to and what I want to learn about at the time. <laughs> 